And welcome to the finals of the Alliance Tournament 11. My name is Shadu. I'm joined here by CCP Fuzzy. Fuzzy, can you tell us a little bit about the history of these two teams meeting in tournaments? It's probably safe to say this is the biggest grudge match in EVE tournaments right now. These teams have met yesterday in a epic, epic best of three series. They met in the last finals of the Syndicate Competitive League. They met in the last finals of the FanFest tournament, both times Hydra won. They also met in the AT8 finals, in which, very notably, the team that had Gobbins lost. And now, of course, Gobbins is on the <laughs> Pandemic Legion side. What can you tell about these setups? So Hydra has brought out the exact Pandemic Legion setup that has been used the last couple of times. This armor setup with Ishtars, Navy Vexors, Vexors, Myrmidon, um, and uh, also was used by Exodus in that mirror match. So it was very exciting. Pandemic Legion brought out the same setup that they just used against uh, Agni end of the day yesterday. That's a Proteus's and a prize ship addressed you. I've got one of those things in my hangar. Really, really love it. It is a gorgeous powerful ship and uh, we might see it explode absolutely and yeah, the match is underway with my uh, hydro loaded choosing to primary a uh, celestis which is taking massive damage Lots and damage. Uh, interestingly the guardian uh, uh, ripped the wrong yeah. celestis for a crucial <laughs> few very, moments very, very and the celestis mistake. is going down yeah, it is going, going down, down it's fast. going down it's in structure it is in structure it is not tanking and no, the celestis is down. down so that's celestis the <laughs> damps on it aren't going to be hugely powerful in this match but what the celestis did bring was a bunch of drone bay which may have been used to help rep the Guardian with the remote repair drones and it looks like they're going to go for a Blackbird next or maybe one of the Proteuses. Looks like that was just a errant uh, wave of uh, the Sentry drones. A, the Proteus of Seamus or Zaz is the next primary and that Adrestia has just caught its first target the Vexor of Viziron there. We'll have to see how fast it can bring that Vexor down. That's right. Currently, the uh, Proteus of Seamus or Sauce is not catching not reps. at all. The, uh, the Guardian has not has fallen back, thinking he's making some massive, massive mistakes here. The Guardian is not jammed. Wow, the Proteus is falling through wrapping. armor. And Shields and he's huge. gone. With and no wow. reps whatsoever from the Guardian. <laughs> this is going to hide so in its favor by a massive <laughs> amount. They're deciding to move straight to the re Guardian of Admiral Gabarius, or the Guardian Proteus Admiral Gabarius. He is getting reps, but I don't know if he's going to be able to hold against all of this damage. But the Guardian. The Guardian is webbed. Is webbed. Now Tinken uh, got left behind. He is making some mistakes this match, no doubt about it. He got caught behind. A shame is raced above and got died without any reps. And now Admiral Gobber is just taking is massive fire. Down too. Even regardless of I, the reps, is yes, falling this through is it. A great, great start for Hydra Reloaded. They've already <laughs> knocked off one uh, damping ship and the two, two of the three biggest damage ships for this PL team. Meanwhile, all PL has been able to kill is one Vexor, and they're actually struggling to kill their next primary, the Vexor Navy issue of Ashley Judd. It's taking a long time for the damage for Pandemic Legion to move from target to target, while Hydra Reloaded is able to switch instantly with those sentry drones. That's right. The Atresi of Dunkel 101 currently is being primary and is tanking. This Guardian has managed now to finally <laughs> wake up <That laughs> to is the fact that the match is underway ship. and he should actually be ripping stuff. <laughs> so the Adrestia is another one Alliance Tournament prize ship. There has only been 50 of them ever in the game. Uh, I think at the, this point only one or two of them has ever been destroyed. So they're still a very, very rare ship and a very valuable ship. Um, but we're going to hope uh, there's a very good chance we're going to see one explode right now because even though the Vexor of Ducks and Duncan Tanner is going down now. And the, now Guardian the Guardian of Tinkin, of Tinkin he was forced damage. towards uh, the uh, Hydra Reloaded team, which allowed them now to lock him finally, and a breaker free, and he is going <laughs> down. He is catching some reps from Butt, but he is now in the half armor oh, and he's falling dropping down. Pretty fast. He's not lasting much longer. The Vexor Navy issue of Ashley Judd going slowly through armor. If PL wants to have a chance in this, they need to kill more damage fast so that that Guardian can survive longer, but it doesn't yes. look like it. And once that Guardian goes down, the next primary will almost definitely be Dankle's Adrestia, because that will bring almost all of the damage off the PL side. And then it'll just be a mop-up job for uh, Hydra Reloaded. That's right. Pandemic Legion just was not able to kill enough of the damage from the Hydra Reloaded team. Hydra Reloaded taking Pandemic Legion's own setup from yesterday and using against them. Yep. That is the ultimate We're troll you now can pull on somebody. You, that addressed you. Moving through armor, he will be the next primary. And we are about to see another amazingly expensive explosion. This has easily been the most expensive two days in the history of the Alliance Tournament. And this is just the next step in that. That address you being flown by Dankle 1001 is going down through low armor. He'll be in destruction very soon. And meanwhile, 
Ashley Judd is just holding on fine. This is going to be just a mop-up job left for Hyde to reload it, and they're going to go up 2-1 to one in this series. That's going to be very, very difficult for PL to try to pull back. Absolutely. What we're going to see here and is there goes that to the yeah. it down. That is 60 billion off the field and never going to come back because yep. these tournament at uh, these tournament prize ships once they're awarded, there's only 50 of them in existence. Once it dies, it's gone. It's gone forever. Yes, that Adrestia is a huge, huge loss for the history of EVE. Just as we saw the Atanas, the Cambians, and the uh, Malices and Utus die earlier. This is oh, absolutely amazing. That Blackbird now of uh, Destoy going off the field very quick. At this point, it doesn't even look like Ashley Judd and all those structure will die. But either way, it doesn't really matter. Just the Enyo's left. They're going to try to kill that one uh, Vexor, mostly just for their pride, I think, at this point. Thankfully, they're not running away and trying to extend this match. That's going to put Hydra Reloaded up two. For anyone that's not familiar with the kind of weird format we have going here, because it's a double elimination tournament the team that's coming in from the winner's bracket starts this best of five up one essentially um, it's kind of a hybrid from a full, normal double elimination to speed things up a little bit and this means that that's going to be a best of five with Hydra reloaded up two if PL loses one more match then they're out Hydra on the other hand can lose two matches comfortably and only if they lose a third will they be in any trouble that's right. Hydro Reload is sitting in a very, very comfortable position here. Uh, indeed, they chose to fly Pandemic Legion's own setup and not show any new mm -hmm. setups whatsoever. In local, we have uh, <laughs> we have yeah. the Hydro Reloaded team saying thanks for a great setup, and 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 uh, Admiral Goperi is saying you're welcome. <laughs> and then Duncan Tanner in local there. We can be unique losing bros now. There you go. Lots of man love in local the, between these two teams. Even though there's always been this very, very brutal competition, they still Eve players. Turns out, actually get along really well when it comes down to it. They the do Korax, indeed. Korax, their favor may go out of the arena. He's right out on the edge. And uh, we'll have to see if he actually goes past the barrier or not. He's at 118. It looks like he's heading for that. He's going to try to make himself get destroyed by um, our own CCB Veritas instead of the Hydra team. Oh, no, he's turned around there. He's going to let himself get destroyed. There he goes. And that is Hydra reloaded <laughs> with a very convincing victory, killing an Adrestia and Excellent. going up to... Yes. Two to nothing in this best of five series. We'll be back very shortly for the next match and possibly the final match. And in the meantime, we'll send you to Soundwave and the guys in the studio.